In this video tutorial, I'm going to give you a lot of useful tips on how you can create sleek looking UIs if you have problem uh, of uh, deciding which button and how to design buttons. For example, we have two action buttons, cancel or delete or things like that. We are, I'm going to give you tips on how you can allocate different colors and uh, different styles to those buttons and how you can create a sleek looking UI interface. So let's get started and I'm going to use Adobe XD for this tutorial you can use sketch or whatever uh, the principles are going to work uh, all over different tools so let's get started. Now here you can see uh, at the top we have two boxes over here so this is a dialog box and at the bottom we have two boxes so at the top these are actually uh, the worst uh, designs or the designs where most of us are going to start uh, very uh, thick border very dark border then a separator line for the title heading or heading then we have some text over here then we have two buttons similarly on the right side we have a lot of different colors for example cancel green and delete for red a lot of designers they think that um, for each action we are going to assign different color to it so here we are actually going to show the user that which uh, is actually the primary action and which is the secondary action so we don't necessarily need colors for each of them so you can see uh, in at the bottom if you see where, where I have created these uh, the iterations I have did you can see uh, this border I have reduced so first thing I did is I reduced the border I removed the border instead I added a shadow so shadow uh, for these shadows I have another tutorial if you want to see how I created these shadows these are very subtle shadows and you can see that uh, the first thing I did is I have created removed this border and created a shadow around it now the second thing you are going to notice over here is that this separator line which was very thick over here I made its opacity to like 40% so I reduced its opacity now it is very subtle line over here very subtle separator now if you notice the third difference which is going to be the text hierarchy or you can say typographic hierarchy that this heading is a bit bigger and this this the font size is same so what i did is i reduced the type size so if this one is 20 i reduced it to 16 or 17 something like this and also the other change i did is i changed the color so this is a dark gray this is a bit lighter gray color so these tips they are going to help you a lot so listen closely and uh, and now you can see at the bottom we have two buttons and instead of having very dark red color that is going to irritate my eyes or my user's eyes i shifted my color red color towards a bit of orange and uh, it has less vibration now it is not vibrating in your colors in your eyes make sure whatever you are selecting it is not hurting the user's eyes so here we have this button now and this cancel button you can see over here it has very light gray background and a, uh, a little darker gray color on top of it so you can go with this arrangement or you can go with this second arrangement which is also similar to this but we have uh, a very light border a gray border around it and we have cancel over here so these are few adjustments you can do and uh, create your uh, interfaces in a very decent way and make them look great. So that is all. If you have any, um, any more, uh, you can say, any ideas or anything you want me to create, I am going to create it. And um, I hope you have enjoyed these tips. Now, if uh, I am going to repeat these tips again, first is remove the extra or extra things which uh, are, uh, you can say, overpopulated in your design. Uh, some of them are like we have this border, then we reduce the opacity of the line, separator lines, then we uh, shifted our colors towards a bit decent colors rather than having very pop up or very uh, vibrating colors. Then in the end, we also uh, used a bit of you can say uh, 
uh, styling for the cancel button and we used uh, we removed the second color which was here green and we removed it and used gray instead because um, maybe this is second reaction so uh, that is all if you have any questions anything else in your mind you want me to create more tutorials like this write them in the comments keep in mind all these tips uh, they are going to get a lot of uh, improvement in your UI design work. So let's move on to the next video. If you can subscribe, go ahead and subscribe and click the bell icon. So if I create a new video like this, it, uh, it goes to your uh, attention. So let's move on and see you soon in the next video.